everybody. Welcome back to Ordinary Adventures. Today we're on Navigator of the Seas. <laughs> it's a 20 year old ship, but it doesn't feel like it because they've upgraded the ship right before the pandemic. They, they called it an amp. They have a water coaster at sea. They have a brand new pool deck. There's a bunch of new bars and there's even a tiki bar. So why don't you come with us on this adventure? Right, so go underwater, be dramatic. I can't, I have my glasses on. Okay, bye. Come with us on this adventure. The solarium on this ship is different than a lot of the other World Caribbean ships. When we're on Symphony of the Seas, it was located in the very front of the ship. This one is located in the middle. I think solarium is just like a fancy word for like adult only area because this really reminds me of the Disney Cruise adult only area. Quiet go. Yeah, there's a pool, there's like some big hot tubs, and it is popping today. It's a sea day today, and like the weather isn't even that nice, but like there's tons of people out here. It's kind of like shocking to me. Yeah. Those hot tubs are huge. They are. They accommodate a lot of people, and they also have those like bed like loungers. It's nice. It's not as nice as the solarium on the big ships. Yeah. So the main pool area is kind of like a party. There's two different pools. There's the lime and the coconut, which is a two-story bar. There's a, another hot tub. And there's also soft serve, which I'm sure our kitchen's gonna try out just a little bit. It's warm. It's warm? It's warm. I was like so curious. Yeah, you were worried it was gonna be cold, but it's heated. Yeah. And I like how they have those like green loungers in the water. So you can hang out like kind of ankle deep in the water. Yes? Yes. It's <laughs> deep in here. I'm shocked because this is like the kids pool. I can't even touch the bottom. It's not the kids pool. This is the family pool. Yeah, it's the family pool. But I like the bigger pools. I, I, I like them over like the small adult pool. You usually find in the adult areas, there's a pool, but it's smaller. Yeah, this is nice. I like a pool to be a pool. <laughs> Well, this has me concerned because it says it's five feet and three inches and I can't touch the bottom. I always thought I was five five. I mean, you probably are. Your head is probably like a foot almost. <laughs> but like my feet barely touch. It's so different cruising out of the West Coast compared to the East Coast because every time we've cruised out of the East Coast, it's been so hot. Yeah. And well, all... we're also cruising in December. <laughs> That's true. Oh, I guess you're right. That's yeah. true. <laughs> and by it's not that cold like I'm being dramatic it's probably like 70 degrees <laughs> <laughs> yeah what she's saying is just not like extremely hot and yeah. humid like it normally is when you go out of the out of Florida oh look at that there's a like hot tub up there yeah so there's a, there's a hot tub up there there's two of them they're like these like long skinny hot tubs I haven't seen what they we'll have to go check them out because I saw them like on the map and I was like what is that but, <laughs> Pretty fun. Yeah. Where are the water slides? I think the water slides might be on the back of the oh. ship. We finally have this pool all to ourselves. Do you think you could swim from one side to the other underwater? Let's see if you can. <sighs> Why did I challenge you that? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I can because I have to pl I like to plug my nose. I mean I'll try. But I don't think I'm gonna, I don't think I can. But the thing is, if you plug your nose, then you won't have an arm for swimming. I know. It's gonna be tough. I think I could do like this side to this side. <laughs> you didn't even make it five feet. The water got in my mouth. There's so much chlorine. <laughs> I tried to open my eyes. I just gave up immediately because there was so much chlorine. <laughs> what flavors do they have? Strawberry, vanilla, and chocolate. Oh, wow. <laughs> Perfect, thank you. Thank you. This is always the best thing to do on a cruise. I don't know why it, it took me a whole day before doing this. 
So the water slides are at the front of the ship and we're trying to find a way to get over there because we're, we keep on hitting dead ends. So I think we got to go through the inside. Look what I found. I found Super Mario's office. So if those of you who don't, don't know, there's a guy named Super Mario that he lives on Royal Caribbean ships, like 365 days a year. I'm not sure if it's this particular, like if he switches between them, but right here he has like a cabana that is like dedicated to him. That's so crazy. That guy is goals. He's like aspiration. Like <laughs> we, we gotta get on his level one day. I think we found the right floor. It says, if you dare. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, there it is. The sports court. Yeah, this is where all like the action stuff is. Did you hear that? <laughs> it sounds like there's like a storm and like sound effects. Okay, look, here's a uh, map. So the blaster looks like it's the, the water coaster, right? Yeah, I think so. And then the riptide is just like a raft uh, slide, I think. And there's the flow rider. We're gonna go on that this trip, right? Maybe. We'll see. If Peter <laughs> wants to go again, then we'll. Then no, we gotta get you to go on. Uh, we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy how the basketball court is just like right in the middle of the water coaster. Oh, and look, the rock walls up there too. Do it this time? Not the rock wall. <laughs> wow, so it looks like you gotta go up there for either of the slides. The water coaster comes down here, goes up, around, down, up, down, <laughs> and then over there. I almost got dizzy just like I got dizzy at it. watching you do that. <laughs> <laughs> Except that we don't actually get dizzy on the ride. Yeah. So workout going up those steps, I'm out of breath. All right, I'm so I'm about to go. Am I gonna get stuck? How many times a day does it happen? Sometimes fifty times. Just kidding. No, oh, you know you're not. You're not though. All right, here we go. Ah! Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Please don't get stuck. Yeah, you gotta walk all the way up there. On the water coaster, you go up and down. That's what makes it a water coaster. It like, my butt would like slam against the side and then like, I'd be like propelled up. <laughs> but I didn't get stuck, so it was cool. It had that same sort of effect that was on Symphony of the Seas with the tubes, like with the lights, like the rainbow light rings. Yeah. Which was cool, but uh, that was a lot of fun. <laughs> I wish it was longer. I wish it went around like the whole ship. But yeah, that would be cool. They pack a punch into like a little area. Yeah. They also have a mat slide called the Riptide. I gotta be honest, it. I am over the weight limit for that slide and Kitra does not like mat water slides. So we're not going on that today, but it does look like a lot of fun. It does look like fun, but you know, I, I like the water coaster. Something <laughs> about going face first on a mat really scares me. What if a pole just jumped in your way in the middle of the water Don't slide? Don't say that! That's my fear. <laughs> Not exactly that, but I mean, something like that. Yeah, like someone gets stuck on the slide and you're going down and yeah, like face first into... That's my fear. <laughs> and like I said, the guy kept telling me I was going to get stuck on the other one. So, I'm, you know, I'm tapped out for today. Oh my god, there's the plaque that shows where the ship was made. So this ship looks like it was constructed in Finland in 2002, and this plaque has seen some better days. It's, it's, it's aging gracefully. 
That's the same year that I graduated high school. I'm oh, as wow. old as this ship. I mean, you're older she than... She ages with grace, like I said before. <laughs> Am I right, ladies? Did you see the statues over there? What are they doing? It's us. <laughs> so in this situation, am I the woman with the camera? What is the guy doing? The guy's like, honey, come on, enough with the photos. Come on. Let's go, honey. Come on. <laughs> they even have ping pong. I feel like if it was me, it would be like the ball would be going over there, over there. I don't I don't trust myself. Yeah. No, too many balls will be going over the edge. It's kind of cool that the rock wall is right next to the water coaster. Fell off the rock wall, you might fall right into the water. Probably not. I'm sure they have precautions. We're so excited. Today's video is sponsored by Audible. At Audible, you can find the largest selection of audiobooks ranging from bestsellers to new releases. Each month, members get credits good for any audiobook, and that's yours to keep forever. The book that I want to recommend to you that I'm currently listening to is called Yearbook by Seth Rogen. Yes, that's Seth Rogen. It's a bunch of personal stories hilariously told by Seth himself and actually has a cast of like over 80 people. Comedians like Nick Kroll, Jason Siegel, Dan Aykroyd. It's funny, it's fun, it's one of thousands of books that you can find on Audible. You can download the titles to listen to offline anytime, anywhere, but not only that, you also get access to their entire Plus catalog filled with thousands of audiobooks, even original entertainment, and even podcasts. I just looked it up and I've been an Audible subscriber for 10 years now, so this isn't just a sponsorship, I'm actually a subscriber. I like to listen while I'm traveling, in the airplane, or if I'm just laying in bed trying to go to sleep. That's the best thing about Audible is you don't have to be, you know, sitting in a chair under a reading light. Right now for a limited time, save 60% on your first three months of Audible. That's only $5.95 per month. Give yourself the gift of listening. For more information, go to audible.com slash ordinary or text ordinary to 500 500. Thanks Audible. And now back to our adventure. Next up, we're gonna go check out a brand new bar on the ship. We're so excited. It looks super cool. So let's go check it out. This bar is the Bamboo Room and it's a tiki bar. You know we're connoisseurs of tiki bars. And it seems like they've brought the theming a little bit higher than normal for a Royal Caribbean ship. Taking some notes from maybe Trader Sam's at Disneyland. There's even like this whole story of the legend of Bamboo Benny, who is the, I guess, the person who created this bar. And we've even seen like a little parrot will show up every once in a while through the portholes and like picture frames here in the bar. And not only do they have drinks, they also have food. So we're gonna try out both some of the food and the drinks. Oh my God, there's the parrot. Buy me a drink. Still waiting on that drink. How cool is that? <laughs> Haven't even had a drink yet. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to dance. I was actually reading up about the parrot. He has a name. His name is Cliff. He's Benny's pet parrot. Benny mysteriously disappears because that's what he likes to do. But the parrot, Cliff, is here to watch over the bar. And apparently pick out like the awesome, <laughs> the awesome song <laughs> that they play in here. Live bamboo. It's sticky time. Yeah. Yeah. What the heck? <laughs> it's in a bag. On the run bag. Nice. Oh, so you could take it on the run. On the run. That's why it's uh -oh. on the run. Uh-oh. That's, so that's fun. dangerous. Zombie. Zombie. Awesome. Oh, that's a cool glass. That is. I ordered one of the featured drinks here, and this is called On the Run. This is Bacardi Superior Rum, Watermelon Juice, Lime Juice, Guava Syrup, St. Elizabeth Allspice Drum, and Mint. And I guess what I didn't realize, it's literally called On the Run because they serve it to you in a bag that you could take with you <laughs> and drink. That's such a good idea. I don't know why, that's just really funny to me. Yeah. Oh my God, this is dangerous. Holy crap, this is so good. 
has a really sweet watermelon and guava flavor. It's really sweet. It almost tastes like a pink lemonade, like an alcoholic pink lemonade. Oh, oh this is dangerous. Holy crap. And you could take it to go. I mean, I think this is like my favorite drink that I've had on all of our World Caribbean places wow. that we've eaten. It's so good. So I'm guessing that means five out of five Kitras? Yeah, no, that's what it means. For my first drink, because let's be real, we're probably gonna get multiple drinks today. I got the Royal Zombie. And this has two types of rum, passion fruit, Luxardo Maraschino, Contru, cinnamon syrup, pineapple juice, lime, bitters, and pernod. Listen, we try our best when we pr try to read all these ingredients, okay, people? Yeah. You did good. You did better than I thought you were going to do. <laughs> Kitra's usually the one that that orders the zombie over at the Lamplight Lounge. Yeah. Um, but I'm doing it today because look at this this uh, tiki mug. Yeah. And he said you can't buy this, but it, it comes in this tiki mug. Yeah. And I, actually, it's funny, on the... Um, on the menu, which, look at how cool this art is. Yeah, it looks like Jeff Granito's art. Yeah, kind or of, Or like yeah. Chaz or something. But it's funny, on the back of it, it's, it says each tiki mug in our collection has power. If you'd like one, let us know and we'll make it so for an offering. Take one and risk a tiki curse. Oh. So don't steal it because then you'll yeah. have a tiki curse. <laughs> but here we go. Ooh. I'm tasting like the pineapple, lime, and cinnamon more than anything else. Like, I don't think of cinnamon when I think of zombies, but I've only had the zombie at Disney California Adventure, so maybe I don't know <laughs> what a proper zombie is. But I like this. I'd give this a four to five, Peter. Ooh. Only thing better would be is if you, you can buy the mug. mug. <laughs> and I did want to mention that the specialty cocktails are $14 each, where the normal cocktails are $12. So it's a little bit more money to get the featured cocktails. It's worth it. On the menu, they have four small plates of food to choose from. Of course, you know that we got all four because we wanted to try them all. First up on the menu is the Tahitian coconut crab bruschetta. There's no description of like what ingredients are in here, but it looks like mangoes and pineapples on top with some like sprouts. And then I'm guessing just the crab and the, the coconut mixed together on top. I mean good to me. So it almost just tastes like tuna fish, like a tuna sandwich. <laughs> like it's really light and refreshing and it definitely has those tropical flavors because of the coconut and the mango and stuff that's on top. Like a three out of five. It's wow, good. that's low for a Kitra score. Hey, I mean, for a Kitra score, yes. It's not like my favorite thing I've ever had in the world. Cause like, honestly, it just kind of tastes like tuna, but I love tuna, so. I'm gonna eat this whole thing and be happy. And I got the Hawaiian pulled pork sliders. The ring of pineapple adds a sweetness to this barbecued pulled pork, which is not overly sweet in itself. It's soft and tender. This is totally like a Peter snack. I yeah. think you get three of these for, I think, seven bucks, which is, it's not a bad deal. I think I'll give this like a four to five Peter. So this is totally something I would get again. And, uh, what? Two of the four things on this menu are fish, so not for me, but this, get this. We also ordered the ahi hoki, and these come in crispy mini wonton cups. They're so cute. It almost looks like a little shell that you would find on the beach. Peter doesn't even like seafood, and when these came out to the table, he was like, ooh, those do look good. Maybe I'll try one. <laughs> <laughs> I think just because you thought how cute they were. Why does your imitation of me sound like the guy from Frozen? Yeah. No. Oh. <laughs> the shop. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. Woohoo. Yeah. <laughs> Those look good. Ooh. I mean, they do look pretty good. <laughs> it's going to be messy, though. I already freaking know. These have so much flavor. They're kind of spicy. It's like a spicy kind of like soy. I don't know what that spice is, but almost like a sesame soy. Very flavorful, really good. I actually think, you know, that you might like this, Peter. I really it think you should try this. Taste? No, not whatsoever. Like it's the dominant flavor is spice, but like a good kind of spice. Mm. And then the wonton shell, I love a good wonton. 
This is amazing. This is a five out of five. For sure. I'm honestly shocked by this. Not only are they cute, but they actually taste good. Wow, those look good. <laughs> yeah, we, we don't have any room. No. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah. Wow. Thank you so much. Dang. For my final dish, I ended up getting the Asian noodle chicken salad. And you can add either chicken or tuna to this. $3 for the chicken, $7 for the tuna. Doesn't tell me what is in this. So we're gonna find out together. Okay, so these noodles are like the Chinese chicken salad, kind of hard crunchy noodles. And then below, there's some like actual noodles. Ooh. Well, first of all, I wasn't expecting this to be a cold noodle dish. Second of all, it has a kick, a spicy kick to it. I don't know what's in this. Like, obviously there's some carrots, there's some like onions, there's those noodles. I don't know what else is in here. There's some sesame seeds. I think I would give this another like four to five Peters. This is like a solid choice. It's not what I was, I don't know what I was expecting. Yeah, this is good. I like this a lot. That noodle salad is so spicy. He told us that it has like sriracha and ginger in it, but like it just heats up your mouth. <laughs> it's good. And I had to put that out with another cocktail. You had to. So I ordered Benny's Mai Tai. This has Bobby's Gin, Orgot, and lime juice. And you know what? I'm a connoisseur of, of, of Mai Tais, but I don't think I've ever had a Mai Tai with those mm -hmm. ingredients. Yeah. I actually looked up on my phone and it's actually a drink called the Army Navy. So I don't know why they call it the Mai Tai. Oh, wow, that's actually surprisingly good. It doesn't taste anything like a Mai Tai. I mean, basically, it almost has like a taste of like a margarita. Ooh. To be honest with you, I want to say like a three and a half out of five, Peters. Because again, it doesn't come in the cocktail, it doesn't come in the tiki mug, and it's not really a Mai Tai. So don't advertise something as a Mai Tai when it's not a Mai Tai. But <laughs> I had to try it, right? Yeah. And you had don't, to. Don't worry, none of this will go to waste. I'll, I'll be drinking it all down. <laughs> right? Like uh, alcohol helps with spice, right? Yep. <laughs> that's, what the, that's what the old saying is. <laughs> I'm gonna try it. <laughs> this is so gross. Doesn't it taste kind of like a margarita? No. It tastes like a gin. It tastes like if the gin went bad. This gets a negative two for me. Okay. I what? Oh, the bird's behind you again. <laughs> What is he doing over there? He's being a cool dude. He's like, don't oh drink God. that Mai Tai. <laughs> <laughs> no. And speaking of Cliff, we did mention that you can't take any of these tiki glasses home. There's only one that you can take home and it costs $10. It's one of Cliff the bird, the parrot. <laughs> yeah. Look at him. He's, he's so cute. I had to get it. Yeah, it says bamboo room. Yeah. And do you know why he's blue? Why? Because it's the royal colors. Oh, you're right. Oh my God, this is so cool. I feel like this is a fun souvenir. Like, yeah. you don't need to order a drink to get this. Like, you could just come in here and get this for $10. Yeah. And it's such a unique, like, fun thing. Buy me. Yep. <laughs> I did. <laughs> Just so you know, since this is a bar, the dining package doesn't work here, but if you have the ultimate drink package, it works here and will cover you $13, the first $13 of every drink. So if you're getting the specialty cocktails, so that's $14, so you'll pay a dollar each. Still not a bad deal. dollar for a drink. We didn't have that. We, we, yeah, we, we, we paid like suckers. Yeah, but it was <laughs> What'd you think? I think that Cliff is coming home with me. <laughs> that was so much fun. I loved it. It is, I love the theming. The food was delicious. The drinks were all fun and really good. I think not only was that my favorite drink that I've ever had in Royal, this is probably like my favorite bar out of, I mean, we haven't been on that many Royal Caribbean ships, so I don't know everything, but out of everything that I've seen, this is definitely my favorite hangout spot. Get in, loser. We're going. Somewhere else. Can't actually get in it. It's locked. Dang it. I left my keys back in the bamboo room. <laughs> <laughs> they have a section in here that's all clearance stuff. It's like 75% off. I found some good stuff. Vacation, calories don't count. I mean, that's true. <laughs> There's so many good ones. 
aquaholic. <laughs> <laughs> it's always wine o'clock on board. <laughs> cruising is my cardio. I don't think cruising counts as cardio. Ready for this one? Let's flamingle. I don't even understand that one. <laughs> the sea is calling. I mean, there's a lot of good ones to choose from. Yeah, these are on clearance, by the way. Yeah. For a reason. Ocean air, salty hair. Ah, uh, the beautiful port of Ensenada. <laughs> yeah, so back in Ensenada, I wanted to come say hi to our sea lion friends. Last time we had to go up to like the smoking area to say hi to them. This time, we have the helipad, so we're hoping we can see them from over here. Well, they're not there. Where'd they go? I heard them. I spotted one in the water. You heard me. He heard you. Oh. Look at him. Oh my god, I should have stolen some of those crab um, bruschetta things to give him. <laughs> sorry, I ate all the, the poke. I'm sorry. I thought there was a party here tonight. It's Where today you Friday going? night. It's today Friday night or Thursday night. It's only Thursday. Oh. Sorry. Meet you in the bamboo lounge later. The bamboo room. I wonder if Cliff's there tonight. Yeah, Cliff is my best friend. Okay, we're delirious. Let's, uh, let's go back inside. Okay. And now for our favorite segment. Peter loses everything at the casino. Yes! yes! I don't know what that means. <laughs> you gotta catch. How? How do I do it? Just, Just like press that? start, yeah, and you catch whatever one you want. <laughs> All right. You're up. I mean, I was down a lot. Now I'm up $34. Do <laughs> I cash out? No. The good news is, is I won a bunch of money at the casino, but the bad news is, is then I lost it all. Don't gamble, kids. It's fun for 10 minutes and then you lose all your money. <laughs> the lesson here is there's nothing, and there's no such thing as a free cruise. I also lost money. I think they got you. They were like, if we could get them out for free, he'll at least <laughs> he'll lose the lose money that, that he won last time. Yeah, so they tricked us. So for dinner tonight, we're going to Jamie Oliver's Italian restaurant. It's called Jamie's Italian. As you know, on the Symphony of the Seas, we love this place. So we're excited to go back and see what it is like here because it's one of the new restaurants that they added to the ship when they amped up the ship. This way. You have some force of powers there. You're welcome. <laughs> yeah, the interesting thing here with this ship is that the Windjammer, Chops, and Jamie's are all in like one complex. Well, the best stuff in one place. How excited are you for Jamie's Italian right now? I'm so excited. Ah, oh, I'm so excited. I wonder if it's gonna be as good as we remember. So because there's only 1,400 people on the ship, it's a maximum capacity of 4,000. The windjammer is not open for dinner. It's fine, we're going to Jamie's. No, it would be like really, really ugly. Oh, so romantic. Nice table by the window. Yes. Thank you. So this Jamie's Italian looks a lot different than the Jamie's Italian we went on the Symphony and the other ships. This has a more modern, like it's like a hip style, like has this graffiti along the walls, like street art style and just bright colors. I, I've heard the menu is exactly the same as yeah. across the ships. Uh, Jamie's is known for making their pasta daily fresh and also using only free range uh, chicken and stuff like that. So that's what they're known for. They're known to us because the food is so good. So we're probably gonna get all the stuff we had last time that we loved, and we'll show you some of it. I don't 
decided to order myself a cocktail and this is something that I haven't tried before. It is called the Milano and it is Campari with orange juice and Prosecco. Oh, I thought it was Star Lord Chef. Milano? <laughs> no? I mean, that would be a lot cooler. But I don't think his ship costs $11. <laughs> I don't really know what the Campari is, but he said it had a... Oh my gosh. Jeez, I haven't even had a sip yet. <laughs> Calm down, Kitra. Um, he said it was just very orange tasting, so... He said strong, too. Just how I like it. <laughs> oh my god, yeah. Wow. Oh my god, that's bitter. Oh, it tastes like grapefruit. Oh, I don't think I like that. <laughs> oh my god, we actually found something we didn't like at Jamie's Italian. Um, it looks pretty. Back it says zero. Wow, I do not recommend this. Um, it's very, very bitter and sour. It must be an acquired taste. I'm sure if you've had Campari before, maybe you love it or you hate it. I don't know. It was my first time trying it. Um, it, ta it tastes just like a very, very sour grapefruit. So. I'm sorry, honey. I should have just got... Peter ordered a pina colada. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want any of the... Last time we had all, like, the the specialty cocktails from this yeah. place, and I wasn't in love with any of them, so... I, yeah. I just felt in the mood for a pina colada. Yeah, because all the specialty cocktails here are, like, a Bellini or whatever. They're all something, like, mixed with champagne. Yeah. You know, Italian. So I was trying to be fancy. You see, you tried and you failed. <sighs> Man, I need like sugar. I need to ask for some sugar on the side. There's I wonder if you asked if you could get something else instead if they would let you. I feel bad. But yeah, but, I might do that. But if that. you don't like it, like, the look on your face was probably one of the worst looks It just looks reminds me of when I was a kid and like me and my family, we used to eat grapefruits. We were a grapefruit family. Oh, I don't like grapefruits. And I would just put like spoonfuls of sugar on top of it. And that was the only way that like it tasted good. That's what I want to do to that. Can't be that bad. <laughs> it gets worse. <laughs> I'd return that. <laughs> Tastes like something has gone bad. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, I don't like grapefruit. Yeah. That, like I hate grapefruit, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we found out some information since the last time we came to Jamie's Italian. Apparently this is actually, or it was, a chain restaurant over in the UK. It is no longer because apparently everybody over there hates Jamie Oliver. Something about he start, he wanted to make like kids meals in the school system healthy or something I think <laughs> is the reason. So like we got so many comments the last time uh, on our video from everybody being like, we don't like Jamie's Italian, and meanwhile we're over here like raving about it. Hey, on the ship, it's awesome. For our appetizers, we had to get the famous meat plank, which is always like amazing. I don't usually like charcuterie. <laughs> yeah. How, is that how you say it? Yeah. Charcuterie, charcuterie boards. Yeah. But I love this one, and we also ordered the ultimate garlic bread because it is the ultimate garlic bread, and it's as amazing as I remembered and I've dreamt of since the first yeah. time we had it. We've literally been dreaming of this moment. Yeah, well, we got we got a lot of entrees coming up. <laughs> we do. <laughs> oh, look in there. Oh yeah. <laughs> I did the thing that I hate doing is I actually spoke up and I asked for a different drink. So I just got the Bellini. You never do that. I don't. I'll like suffer through something because I just I don't know why I just don't like doing it. But he was very nice. So. Are you sure? Yeah. Ah. So good. Get the Bellini. Do not get whatever. I don't even remember what it's called, but don't get the other one. Milano. <laughs> Milana. What was it called? Milano. Okay. Yeah. Star Lord was wrong. I'm trying to find an expiration date on here. Do you think they're actually from 1955? I don't know. <laughs> they aren't. <laughs> they aren't. I don't think so. I think that's just when the company was founded. <laughs> On the bottom it says, for display only. Yep. 
<laughs> so don't steal it, Peter. For my entrees, the first thing I got was Jamie's chicken Caesar salad. I've gotten this before, it's amazing. I don't know why, I think it's because they put so much cheese on top, I love it. I also got the penne pomodoro, which is basically just penne pasta with a tomato sauce and burrata cheese. When you mix it all together, magnifico. Was that new thing we got in the middle? I got, they were called polenta chips, and basically it's just like deep fried pieces of polenta, which I can't really like describe what it tastes like if you've never had polenta before. It's almost like a, tastes like a cornmeal or something, maybe? I'm probably not describing it. It's like potato y. Yeah, it, it basically just tastes like little deep fried like tater tots. And they, that was actually my favorite thing. I like, licked the bowl clean. And I got two of my favorite things here. I got the truffle tagliatelle pasta. Very truffly, very rich. I love it. And I got the baked lasagna, which is one of the best lasagnas I've ever had. Yeah, you love that lasagna so much that you've ordered it like literally every time <laughs> we've came here. <laughs> yeah. It, it's, you, if you come here, you gotta get it. Oh, did you hear that? <laughs> it's magical. Just kidding, that was me. <laughs> For dessert, we had to get the epic brownie because we were watching this YouTube channel called Ordinary Adventures and they went on and on and on about how good it was. So we wanted to see if it lived up to the hype. And let me tell you, it does. Ordinary Adventure star. Okay, so now that we've eaten in the main dining room, and then we, we have the comparison of one of the premium dining restaurants. This costs like $45 a person or so. What do you think? I think the main dining room was really, really good. The food was decent, but I think I like the premium dining better, personally. <laughs> it's not that we're bougie or... We're not. Yeah. We're not. And if you think about it, $45 for all you can eat really like that's a pretty good deal like if you were to in all things considered i know it's an upcharge to the f yeah. the free dining the problem is if you do that every day then it becomes oh your cruise ends up costing twice as much so i would splurge on it you know if you could find a deal that gets you maybe like they have a, a whole bunch of deals on the premium dining you could either buy it for like your whole cruise or like they tried to talk us into like oh you bought this if you pay like f you know like 30 more dollars you could have the rest of the cruise we didn't do that for some reason but i would say just like have one special night and just do the premium dining because it's yeah. so worth it what is up with the color on that screen I don't know. I thought they refurbished this whole <laughs> ship. Apparently they forgot to do the, the big screen. It's so bad. <laughs> Why is it like that? Yeah. I don't know. Whatever. Yeah. You We finally got a towel uh, animal. Oh my god, look at that! Oh, it's so cute! It's a dog! <laughs> Oh my god, look at the eyes! How did they do the, oh, okay. It's just a piece of paper, but oh. like, she took the time to print out like eyeballs. <laughs> she deserves a, a raise. She deserves a very big tip what she's gonna get. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I was so sad because we didn't get a towel animal on our first night. But oh my god, this makes up for it. You've been missing Gizmo and Pixel. I know, he's like, Just like Gizmo! <laughs> oh! Okay, we gotta save him. Okay, come on. <laughs> Look at it! <laughs> Thumbnail. Why is my mask still on? <laughs> Thumbnail. <laughs> His eyes fell off. No. Okay. Where should we put him? I'm gonna go over here. <laughs> I've never, we've never gotten a dog before. It's exciting, okay? So right now we're about to see a version of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? It's like, Who Wants to Be a Korean? <laughs> a Caribbean Millionaire? No, it's actually called 
Caribbean here. Oh. Yeah. Maybe we don't need to go. You don't want to see who wants to be a Caribbean here? <laughs> Uh, on these cruise ships, they the all. Caribbean. Yeah, <laughs> that's the or weird thing about this. Caribbean or wherever. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, on these cruise ships, they do sh game shows all the time. I'm curious to see what this one looks like. <laughs> so this is who wants to be a royal Cari Caribbeaner? Caribbeaner. Caribbeaner. It's like it's similar, similar uh, to who wants to be a millionaire. Yeah. But we don't own the copyright, so don't tell anyone, all right? <laughs> oh. So much tension. The question is, what is Barbie's boyfriend called? What? What is Barbie's boyfriend called? Option number eight. <laughs> Not number, letter. <laughs> Dan. <laughs> B. Ben. C. A. Roth. Or D. Ken. You know, Jerry, I'm going to have to go with D. Ken. D. Ken. Okay. Final answer. Is that your final answer, Jim? Final answer. We have Dan. Ben. A. Ruth and Ken. We have time, no pressure, no worries. This is just the first round. Because <laughs> I answered too quick. <laughs> Dramatic pause. Dramatic pause. Oh. So. Ooh. Is D your final answer? Yes, that's my final answer. <laughs> <gasps> All right. Let's see. Is D the answer? Yeah! Ken! Ken is the answer. Good job, Jim. Okay, so you just got a... It might be too cold to go swimming, but we're gonna do it. <laughs> Warm? That's always a good sign. <laughs> this was a good idea. And everybody's just like in their room or trying to get food. Yeah. We're like, let's go into the pool instead. <laughs> Like adults. We're geniuses. I know. <laughs> Look at the guy standing. He doesn't see me. <laughs> He's trying to like dance with him and he doesn't. <laughs> there, there, there isn't a band up there, but there is a, a tech guy dancing. I think he's setting up. No, that's a DJ, I think. Oh, is that? Oh. Yeah. Oh, that's a DJ. Okay. The tech guy? <laughs> that's I don't know. Kind of a DJ. I thought he was setting up the, like the, for the next band or something. No. No. <laughs> what? Point of view, you're on a cruise with your your boyfriend in the pool. They're playing the, the Free Willy soundtrack. <laughs> I got my glasses. I, I, for, I forgot I had them on. Okay, let's go put them away. Okay, so I'm gonna try to swim as far as I can. That way. I have, I'm not even gonna push off anything, so here we go. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Here goes the Peter fish. We know him well. Oh, whoa! 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 What is going on there? What happened there? Did you make it? 
I made it all the way to the end of the back. Like the Peter fish, like he had like a, a tail, like his tail came up. <laughs> it happens sometimes. Look at this. We got mean? certificates. Welcome us back to Adventure. Navigator of the Seas. Oh, that's fun. It's like a fun little souvenir. Yeah, because we're some of the first guests. Yeah, to ever come back on the ship. For a second, I thought it said, Welcome back, Ordinary Adventures. <laughs> but it just says, Welcome back to the adventure, which I also love. If you enjoyed this video, wait until you see what we have next. We go to Catalina. It's a fun day. We'll put the videos from our trip right over there. I want to say thank you to some of our Patreons. That includes Kelly Enos, Nathan Wharton, Mandy and Marion Zemke, and Jacob Williams. Thank you guys so much. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you on the next adventure. adventure. Bye.